church, let's just remain in this attitude of adoration and worship and loving on the Lord. And for you at home, if you will get like a cracker, some juice, get ready for continuing with that obedient worship and doing what the Lord had said to keep, and that is his table, to take part in communion. So uh, ushers, if you'll uh, pass out the elements for a few of us are here, let's make sure the worship team gets it. But I want to teach you about something. The reason we do it is not only because God commanded it of us and, and said, hey, do this in remembrance of me. This is my blood that is shed. This is my blood that is shed. This is my blood that I have shed for you. This is my body that I've broken. I broke it for you. But we don't just celebrate the death, the cross, the payment of sin, but we celebrate his resurrection. We celebrate that he conquered it all for us. That every debt is paid, my now sin, my past sin, and my future sin that I don't want to commit anyways. What I want to show you is that he bled in seven places. And the first place he bled was on his back as they whipped him to almost near death. So that every burden can be lifted from you. The burden of sin can be lifted from you. The burden of life, the burden of sickness. Because by his stripes we are healed. In the second place, gosh, it's almost as important as everything. From his head he bled. They fashioned a crown and put it on his head. And it was made of thorns. And as he bled from his head, it's to cover our minds. To cover our perspective. To cover how we see things and how we do things and where our thoughts come from. That that would be covered by the blood of Jesus and we would have a renewing of our mind. The next places he bled were his hands and his feet. So that everything we touched... And everywhere we go and how we put our hand to the plow and how we work and what we do things with our family and where we walked would be covered by his blood. He would cleanse us of it all. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. The last place he bled was in his side. Right in his gut they stabbed him with that spear. Blood and water flowed. So right in your inner being, you would be covered. Right in your soul, you would be covered. The person who you are is covered by the blood of Jesus. He wants to heal the whole being of who you are. Your body, your soul, your spirit. He wants all of us, not a part of us. And he gave all of him for us. There is nothing he didn't cover. There is nothing missing. It's about us accepting it, glorifying it, praising it, and saying thank you, Jesus. So as we take the elements... We remember, we remember not just a, a tradition or a ceremony, but truly what it means to be saved, truly what our Savior did for us on the cross, truly what our save, Savior did as he emptied the grave. So right now we take, we take the cracker, we take the bread, because you broke your body for us. We say thank you, Jesus. We say thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your love. Thank you that you came down for us. Thank you, Jesus.
that you broke your body so you would fix our broken. Lord, and you took the cup, and so we take the cup. And as you bled for us, and you covered every aspect of life for us, every thought. You covered it all, Lord. We say thank you. We say thank you. We say thank you. Lord, we do this in remembrance of you. speak to those who need healing if you would come with that humble heart there is healing in communion there is healing in your emotions in communion there is healing in your physical body in communion as we let go and surrender and wash ourselves with the thing Jesus Christ Yeshua Messiah did for us So I speak to all of us here and those who are watching online. Be healed today in the name of Jesus. Be healed today in the name of Jesus. Let's continue giving him glory.